So I'm going to discuss one of the very important uh, aspects of tinnitus, which is tinnitus is actually a very normal experience for everyone, depending on the degree of it. So tinnitus having a little beep in your ear or a high pitched whistle that lasts a couple of seconds is incredibly normal uh, for everyone on planet Earth because it's to do with uh, a couple of factors or it could be to do with a couple of factors, which is number one, your ears doing their thing and equalizing the pressure. So between the atmosphere and internally in the middle ear cavity. So that's incredibly healthy. That's a function um, that it does all of the time uh, whenever it needs to. And as a result, sometimes we can get a little bit of tinnitus when that happens. Okay, so that can last for a couple of seconds, I'm sure, and then it dissipates and then it, and it fades away. That's something that it sh that is not a concerning issue. What I find is that the calls that come in that have extreme anxiety attached to that type of event, so they could have a high-pitched whistle as a one-off or maybe twice um, in the space of a couple of weeks, if they have extreme anxiety attached to that, what happens is that they can start analyzing it. They can start Googling it. They can start um, trying to zo uh, zone in to a certain ear. So closing the left ear off, closing the right ear off, listening and tuning in to see if it's there, uh, being incredibly hypervigilant, uh, sometimes closing themselves in a really quiet room and holding their breath to see if they can uh, pinpoint if tinnitus is there, if that sound is there. Um, I think one instance uh, I had someone who was saying that they uh, locked themselves in a small cupboard and held their breath there and, and just to see, just to make sure if it wasn't there or if it was there or seeing if they could hear anything internally. Now, that is incredibly um, not only anxiety inducing, but it's uh, th that is bordering on abnormality, okay, in terms of uh, expectations. So expectation is, again, this is a really normal experience. This is um, a part of our biology and how it operates. So uh, tinnitus here and there is nothing to be uh, concerned about, but I promise you, if you do have a tinnitus issue, you will not not hear it or you will uh, not be able to ignore it because it will be in your face uh, so incredibly clear to you that you have an issue that it won't even be a question of can I hear it? Is it around me? Should I hold my breath and maybe then I can tune into it? So if you're finding that you're having to actually, uh, you know, look out for it, then just try and uh, get some stress management techniques in place because all you're doing is it's, it's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy because we know for a fact that tinnitus feeds off of anxiety. Stress is the fuel to the tinnitus fire. This is a catchphrase that I use all of the time. If you don't want to actually amplify the situation or, or have it manifest uh, more often, uh, then understand the difference between a normal experience and an abnormal experience. So a normal is it happens once in a while for everyone and it goes away, right? So abnormal is you won't be able to ignore it because it'll be there and, uh, and the severity will be incredibly distressing to you. It won't be a question of having to look for it uh, at all, okay? It will just be there. So for those of you who are having to look for it, your course of action is not to go on forums, not to go on Dr. Google, not to panic about the what ifs. It's simply to get a hearing test via an audiologist, perhaps chat to a tinnitus specialist like myself if you feel inclined. Uh, not that that's totally necessary after watching this video. I, I don't think it probably is, but go to your audiologist for a hearing test to check that there are everything uh, is physically intact and there is no uh, hearing loss as well um and your middle ear cavities are working well that your station tubes are functioning well uh and then it's really about anxiety management and stress management and and checking in on that uh and getting a plan in place